Hello and welcome to Director of Finance Television. We're here at Barnett Waddingham's offices in London and we're here to talk to Gavin Markham about bulk annuities. Gavin, um, long-term yields, volatile markets, that's what we keep hearing very low long-term yields at the moment. How does that affect the bulk annuity market? Well, I think recent political events are like cl clearly have increased the level of market volatility. And I think if we're looking forward, you know, there's a great deal of uncertainty still out there around US policies, changes in Europe. And so I think it's more important than ever for companies to assess their pension risks fully. And bulk annuities offer an opportunity to manage those risks actively and also you know, transfer those liabilities fully to the insurance market. A couple of specialist providers who have merged recently, this is in the medically underwritten part of the market. How does that affect the picture? And maybe you should just explain what medically underwritten means. Well, I think medically underwritten is basically obtaining information about the specific members, so health and lifestyle information. And that can help the insurer by assessing the longevity more accurately and reducing margins for prudence. And so, yes, the merger has impacted the the level of direct competition, but it hasn't changed the underlying principle of medical underwriting. So I think that still offers value for, for companies looking to do a transaction. Certainly around top slicing transactions where the largest liabilities are being secured in the scheme and it can offer attractive pricing opportunities and it also there removes the greatest concentration of longevity risk. So you talked about the, the change in the risk profile. C can the marketplace offer everything that is needed right now? I think it, it's certainly a huge range of options out there. I think looking across the scale of schemes that are out there, I think it's fair to say that for smaller schemes, it can sometimes be more challenging um, to attract insurer appetite. But having said that, we have recently transacted successfully for a number of schemes below £10 million. So clearly, I think the market is there. It can cater for schemes of all sizes. And what I would say is I think that emphasises the importance of being well prepared and being able to take advantage of those opportunities as they arise. Is it well priced, the market, in the sense that is there a good correlation between what you pay and what you get? I think so. I think, it, again, it, it, it's about having the right advice, looking at the options are out there, understanding from a company's perspe perspective the full range of those options. And I think, you know, that includes areas like liability management. So here, for example, pension increase exchange exercises or enhanced transfer values where you can reshape the liabilities before approaching the market and reduce the overall cost for the company. And that also offers valuable flexibility for the members, so a sort of win-win situation. So I think it's about having clear objectives, um, agreeing those with the trustees from the company's perspective, and then approaching the market with those, and then being able to assess the value within that framework. So it sounds like quite a lot of research, really, that any company needs to do. And I think that's important. I think it's, you know, it's a significant exercise, and it's a one-off exercise. So once you've yeah. secured the liabilities with an insurer, it's a one-off transaction, so it's not something to go in too lightly. It's not like other investment decisions where you can, say, reverse back out, have a different view. I think it's here. It is about doing your homework, understanding the full picture. Would one be tempted to dip into the market at a particular time? Is timing important, or should we not be rushed into that? No, I think, I think timing is key. So I think it's, it's partly about making yourself look as attractive as possible in terms of transactions, so looking attractive to the insurer but also getting your timing right. So being in that position where you can approach the market, you're ready to transact, is important. What, what can Barnett Waddingham do to, to help people in this area? Barnett Waddingham has a specialist team in this area and we've advised on an extensive number of both buy-in and buy-out transactions. And I think what we believe in is working with a company to understand and develop their wider pension strategy so any transaction can then fit within those objectives. Yes, yeah, so it's not, not, as you say, it's not really just a one-off transaction. It really depends where you've come from and, and what, what the overall strategy is. Yeah, so, so, so no one transaction or, or the build-up to a transaction is the same. It's about doing something that fits with both the scheme and also the company's objectives. And so from our, from our perspective, in terms of our advice, we can help build from that initial stage of feasibility around the business case for the company through to full project management of the process and then successful delivery of the transaction at the end. What sort of time frame are you talking about? I think in terms of once you've approached the market in terms of time frame, maybe the order of you know sort of four to six months. I mean, in terms of preparation, there's no reason why you can't be doing some of that preparatory work well in advance of that. So areas like sort of data preparation, understanding any benefit issues in advance, that can all be work that, that, that you know, pays, pays in itself you know, delivers value once you approach the market. And how do you think 
the market is developing. And you've mentioned that the volatility currently. I mean, in five years' time, how might it look? I think it's going to be a lot bigger. I mean, if you if you look at um, transactions that have been carried out to date, so £80 billion worth of transactions so far in the market, that's less than 5% of the DB universe that's out there. So over the next 10 to 20 years, you'd expect considerable growth in that market. And I think from a company's perspective, the important thing is to be well positioned to optimise the value that you can get from that market. So I think that's about getting the right advice and making the right decisions, and as I said, at the right time. Kevin Rockers, thank you very much. Thank you.